After years of peace in the South, a conflict occurred in the west of Banga State. The West Bank, Nubaga, and Baran Town, which were a part of the Banga State, joined forces and started to peacefully protest against the high taxes and harsh rules against the freedom of people and the basic human rights. Despite the peaceful protest, the Banga State didn't comply and used Thier forces too to end the protest. Three died and 23 were injured during the process. This led to the three states buying guns and battle equipment from, from the Hedrick Kingdom as they sold it for lower prices, and they needed allies and trade partners. No one else supported the three states, as they all were allies of Banga State. But Hedrick Kingdom needed allies, so they can have a stronger presence in the region, and they can weaken the Banga State. They supplied the weaponry via sea, and not land, so they don't get caught by the Banga army. New Baga became the first target of Banga State, as they were the first to threaten the Banga State about leaving the state. The Banga army punished the people of New Baga with bomb dropping and burning people houses to shut the whole movement and demonstrate their power and show how far they can go. At that point, the New Baga was split in half. The north was controlled by the Banga military and the south was New Baga. They went as far as blocking the new Bagas port so they couldn't flee or import any food. They went on to destroy the major state buildings in New Baga and also burned the farms and local crops. While some fleed to the south into Baran town from the river, others stayed in the north to fight for the independence of the state, but not for long as the Banga state. Went on with an heavy bomb attack on the state which killed most of the people left and New Baga surrendered. After the demolition of New Baga, a new puppet state was formed called Free Ravi, after the River of Ravi, which feeded the people of Banga State. This state was created to show that the Banga government wasn't bad, and they actually cared for the locals on the Ravi land. But this was all part of their propaganda, 